Oh. So just having a little bit of angle on it helps. Oh! Oh, hey YouTube. How are you going? So today we're going to have a look at a video requested by a subscriber. They wanted to see how I operate the flaps while landing during uh, windy conditions. And it just so happened we had windy conditions a couple of days ago. Here is how I handled it. Keep in mind this is not instruction and how the flaps operate will vary between gliders. So make sure you consult an instructor about how you should fly your glider. Don't just listen to me. My name's Tim, I'm flying the Ventus CT. Hope you enjoy. All right, strap secure. Under garage is down, locked flaps set appropriately. Brakes. The brakes out. Let's slow down a bit more. That amount of Drew Vegas joining downwind to it. Right, someone asked how I deal with flaps during uh, windy conditions. Now, flaps are really based on your speed, and with windy conditions you want a bit of extra speed. So, I'm going 70 now, that's probably a bit fast, I'm going to slow down to 60. Still very high. Let's get the brakes out, that's what they're for. So, speed 65 now. That's probably good, it's quite gusty. I don't want to be slower than that, so the flaps are currently in flap zero. I'll put them into plus one as I turn on to finals here. I wouldn't do plus two or landing flap if it's gusty and windy, because you want more control, more aileron control. Better matter traffic, let's go our finals to it. Yeah, I see I've sped up there, so slow down, slow down Tim. Get speed right, get the flaps plus one. So I can come down quite steep, but I've still got reasonably good aileron control. Now I'm just going to drift over to the left here and land a bit more into wind, because it's quite a strong crosswind. So just having a little bit of angle on it helps. Now watch out for the wind gradient. Oh, I have bumped up my tyre, it's a bit bouncy. Then I put my flaps into negative one once I slow down enough because then I have more aileron control. That'll do. You can see I can keep it balanced on the ground because I'm in negative flap. Whereas if I put it into positive flap, I immediately lose control. So a couple of interesting little details. For a start, I called the owl flap a landing flap in this video. So I've got to keep in mind this is a German glider, and uh, I believe the owl actually stands for the German word langsam, which is slow. So I guess that kind of makes sense. Owl for slow. So not necessarily just a landing flap. Different gliders have different flap configurations. The modern gliders tend to have another flap setting or two. Generally I land with a plus two landing flap if it's not too turbulent or windy and I actually need to practice using the full flap landing flap and actually practice landing as slow and probably a bit steeper than I am. A steeper approach is better because when you flare you tend to lose more energy from a steeper approach but your timing is more critical so it's it requires more practice to get the timing right. I have a funny feeling the GoPro makes the landings look more shallow than they actually are. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our online store, pureglide.nz, for some awesome merch like this hoodie. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.